in the name of Allah, the merciful, the beneficent. Now of the main headlines. Lectures of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi on jurisprudence continue in Holy Qom. Misbah al Hussein Foundation discusses its weekly project on the service reality of the holy city of Karbala. Islamic organization in Indonesia to buy ancient church in Spain and convert it into a mosque. Dozens of protesters demonstrate against Hindu extremists' war on the Islamic identity of the Kashmiri people. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Ayyub and you are watching Shia Waves live from Imam Hussein TV Free. Lectures of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi on jurisprudence continue in Holy Qom. Here's a clip from the Grand Ayatollah's lecture on the virtues of the blessed Torba of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. من قبل الفقهاء أن المثبتين لا تقيد بينهما أحدهما مطلق والآخر مقيد وبالنسبة إلى تربة الحسين صلوات الله عليه الروايات أكو مطلقة ومقيدة طين القبر أكو لا اللي مو من القبر هذا مو طين القبر في بعض الروايات أكو كربلاء كلما اتسعت المدينة وصدق عليها كربلاء عرفا التربة تكون تربة كربلاء وفي الروايات أكو بعض الروايات أربعة فراسخ أو خمسة فراسخ وهذا تقييد إطلاق تقييد ما بي يعني يؤخذ بالمقيد ويؤخذ بالمطلق وربما ربما كلما يكون أقرب إلى القبر الشريف يكون أكثر نتيجة ربما مع ربما أما الإطلاقات في محلها شو قد ما يكون بل مو عشر فراسخ خارج كربلاء لا في إطار ما يسمى عرفا كربلاء هذا التراب يكون تراب الحسين عليه السلام تراب كربلاء مصباح الحسين Foundation for Relief and Development which is affiliated with the office of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq al-Husayn al-Shirazi held this weekly periodic meeting in which it discussed the activities of the departments last week in the meeting the department officials gave an overview of their activities and the services provided by the foundation to its beneficiaries. The attendees discussed their suggestions about the foundation's next project, which is related to studying the service reality of the holy city of Karbala. They prepared reports, the great increase in the number of pilgrims and the visitors to the holy city of Karbala from different countries of the world. The largest Islamic organization in Indonesia is looking to buy an ancient church in Spain and turn it into a mosque which would include major services for the Muslims in the country. The head of the organization's branch in East Java, Saad Ibrahim, said, The organization has moved at the present time to buy an old church located about 15 minutes drive from the Spanish city of Madrid. He added, We hope that these aspirations aiming at spreading the Islamic religion and its tolerant teachings will be fulfilled. So, so, so that the blessings of God will be fulfilled. Let us remind our respected viewers of today's headlines. Lectures of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi on jurisprudence continue in Holy Qom. Misbah al Hussein Foundation discusses its weekly projects on the service reality of the holy city of Karbala. Islamic organization in Indonesia to buy ancient church in Spain and convert it into a mosque. Also tonight. 
Rohingya Muslims arrested on their way to flee to Malaysia. Welcome again. Dozens of Shia and Sunni Muslims in the state of Kashmir demonstrated against what they described as the demographic change war waged by Hindu extremists against the region and the identity of its Muslim people. Shia news agency monitored the video clip of Kashmiri demonstrators walking in the middle of a street and carrying banners condemning the systematic practices by extremist Hindus. The participants denounced the campaigns of Hindus against Indian cities and provinces inhabited by the Muslim majority as part of a larger plan supported by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi to impose complete Hindu hegemony on the country. The Muslim Minorities Observatory stated in a tweet that the demonstrators in occupied Kashmir came out to condemn the Hindu war on the Kashmiri identity and attempts to change the demographics. Muslim bloggers and activists interacted with this event, asserting that the extremist Hindus have obtained the full government support to eliminate Muslims in India through arbitrary and systematic practices that seek complete domination of India. And now we continue with some short news. Thousand Thousands of children fleeing fighting in the Eastern Democratic Republic of the Congo are at grave risk in overcrowded and unsanitary camps for internally displaced people. About 100,000 people have been displaced over the last 10 days, have fled to overcrowded makeshift camps in the towns of Goma and Lobaru, according to UNICEF. They are living in flimsy shelters which do not protect them from frequent rainstorms. Shortages of clean water are placing many IDPs at risk of a cholera epidemic. Iraqi warplanes destroyed three sites of ISIS terrorist organization in Salah ad din province in the north of the country, officials have said. Iraq had announced on the 9th of December 2017 the expulsion of the ISIS terrorist organization and the imposition of full control over all Iraqi lands. As the winter season is coming closer, Afghanis' concern for humanitarian crisis has grown. The Office for the Coordination of Humanitarian Affairs stated that in three years, the poverty rate in the country has grown from 47% to 97%. According to the report by the OCHA in 2020, the poverty rate was 47%, which grew to 70% in 2021, and then to 97% in 2022. This data depicts that 97% of Afghanistan's population lives under the poverty line as Afghanistan faces one of the world's worst humanitarian crises. The rate of poverty in Afghanistan has been linked to factors such as the decline in income, a rise in food costs and inflation drought, unemployment and natural catastrophes. Saudi authorities have carried out maintenance work on the Kiswa of the Kaaba in Mecca. On Sunday, specialized teams fixed some tears on the lower part of the Kiswa. The King Abdul Aziz complex also dedicated a day to install a new silk fabric around the lower part of the Kaaba. Fahad Jabari, director of administration for maintenance of the Kaaba Kiswa at the Grand Holy Mosque, said the repairs were part of year round care and maintenance of the Kaaba Kiswa, and they were completed in record time without affecting the movement of Umrah pilgrims. The current Kiswa was installed at the Kaaba during the new Islamic year of Muharram I, 1444 AH. The Kiswa is replaced annually in a tradition observed for centuries. Media outlets reported today the arrest of a number of Rohingya Muslims in occupied Myanmar while they were going to travel by boat from their country to Malaysia to escape the oppression of the authorities and Takfiri groups. The media sources said in a statement seen by the Shia news agency, more than 80 Rohingyas were arrested in southeastern Myanmar while they were trying to escape by boat to Malaysia. The police forces arrested these people after the smugglers abandoned them and left them vulnerable while they were hoping to escape from the tragic reality. The detained group includes women and children, the people were hiding near the rubber plantations after the boats they took from Rakhini state left them. 
Myanmar faces accusations of genocide against Rohingya Muslims in the United Nations High Court. The Southeast Asian country has been in chaos since the coup in February last year and killed more than 2,400 civilians according to human rights organizations. A white supremacist who killed 51 Muslim worshippers at mosques in Christchurch back in March 2019 has filed an appeal against his life sentence, a court spokesperson said on Tuesday. Tarrant, an Australian national, stormed the mosques armed with military-style semi-automatics, indiscriminately shooting at Muslims gathered for Friday prayers and live-streaming the killings using a head-mounted camera. Brenton Tarrant was sentenced in 2020 to jail for life without parole for the murder of 51 people and attempted murder of 40 others. This is known as the worst mass shooting in New Zealand's history. It was the first time a New Zealand court had sentenced a person to prison for the rest of their life. The Museo Internazionale Antonio Pasqualino International Museum has displayed an archaeological painting on the Eternal Battle of Karbala. As part of the activities of the 47th Morgana Art Festival, which will be held in its corridors from the 3rd to the 13th of November. The museum, located in the famous Italian city of Palermo, stated on its official website, This painting is from the category Badet Khani, or cloth novel, which is one of the types of narrative arts in the Persian heritage, from which Shi'i stories painted on special pieces of cloth are narrated. The report added that the narrator depicted through this painting various scenes from the martyrdom of Imam al-Hussein, peace be upon him, following the Karbala tragedy by showing 365 faces of the characters of the tragedy and 70 different stories through a narrative story. At the conclusion of this report, the museum pointed out that each of the characters depicted in the painting has a specific place, but the main actor is distinguished by his size and location in the center of the painting which allows him to attract the viewer's attention immediately. We have reached the end of today's Shia Wave show. Let's remind our viewers of today's headlines. Lectures of Grand Ayatollah Shiraz on jurisprudence continue in Holy Qom. Misbah al Hussein Foundation discusses his weekly projects on the service reality of the holy city of Karbala. Islamic organization in Indonesia to buy ancient church in Spain and convert into a mosque. Dozens of protesters demonstrate against Hindu extremist war on the Islamic identity of the Kashmiri people. Rohingya Muslims arrested on their way to flee to Malaysia. New Zealand mosque shooter files appeal against life sentence. And finally, archaeological painting on Battle of Karbala placed on front of one of Italy's largest museums. You can view the latest news on Sharewave's website and you can send news of your city or country to be published on our news agency. Contact us on the numbers at the bottom of the screen. This is the end of today's news and thank you all for watching. We pray to Allah Almighty to hasten the reappearance of the master of our time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.